what kind of editing does your book need? In today's Weekday Wisdom, I'm going to talk about the four levels of editing and the types of editors that do these kinds of editing, just like I mentioned in yesterday's video. Hi, this is Karma Spence, the Own Your Awesome Mentor. And I mentioned yesterday that I was going to go into a little more detail about the different kinds of editor. I was kind of doing it off the top of my head. I have since done a little bit of research to make sure that the information I'm giving you is accurate. And it turns out that there are four levels of editing that a book can go through. And here they are. First level is developmental editor. The second is stylistic editor. The third level is copy editor. And the fourth is proofreader. Now, a developmental editor, a lot of people will do this on their own, but sometimes they need an outside pair of eyes. And so they hire a developmental editor, which is also called a structural editor or a substantive editor, which is what I referred to yesterday. This kind of editor looks at the big picture of your book and make sure that the structure fits your vision and makes sense to a reader. This kind of editor is the person who might say, you know, chapter one should really be chapter three and you're really starting here and the, the, in order for it to flow, you need to rearrange your chapters this way. And if you're work, talking about fiction, they're also the ones who will say the battle needs to come here and the the boy meets girl over here, and you need to change these around. It basically makes sure that the structure of your book fits the vision of your book. I tend to do this on my own, although I might be hiring one for my next book because I'm not 100% sure that I'm thinking the way other people might think. So this is just someone who helps you with structure. After the developmental editor, you've got the stylistic editor. This type of editor is also called a line editor, and they're taking a look at the paragraph level of your work. That means, are you using jargon that the readers won't understand? Are you being too flowery with your adjectives? Do your transitions make sense? This is a great kind of editor that I love working with these types of editors because they help me talk to the reader at the level that the reader is going to be. Because sometimes I can be up here and sometimes I can be down here. And it's, sometimes that's a little hard for me. Although I often will do this type of editing on my own as well. But it's always nice to have a second pair of eyes, kind of take a look and make sure, especially with the transitions, because I have a tendency to just go for it. <laughs> I don't always make good transitions. So you've got your developmental editor who looks at the structure. Then you've got your stylistic editor who is looking at the paragraphs and making sure that one flows to the other. And then you have your copy editor. This person does sentence level editing, and that means that they're looking at grammar, usage, and consistency. This person is going through and making sure that you are conjugating your verbs correctly and that you are using the right words. I often will use a copy editor because I get so into my content that sometimes I use words that don't make any sense. But I will often do this kind of editing on my own. So now we've gone through three levels. We've had our developmental editor who looks at the big picture, the stylistic editor who makes sure all your transitions work, the copy editor who's taking a look at each sentence and making sure that it all makes sense, and the final editor, and this is the editor that everyone needs. Everyone needs this, and that is the proofreader. The proofreader looks at the word level editing. They are looking for typos, repeated words, spelling errors, punctuation errors. And it's a really good idea to have a proofreader look at your copy before it goes into design and then again after it goes into design. Because when you design your book, often typos and orphans and all sorts of weirdness can happen just in the laying out phase. So a proofreader is definitely needed after it's been laid out. I hope this quick video over the four types of editors has helped you. Again, those are the development, big picture, stylistic paragraph, copy editor, sentence, and proofreader, nitpicker. <laughs> this is Karma Spence, the Own Your Awesome Mentor. And remember this, think outside the box because that box keeps you hemmed in. Spread your wings and fly because you, yes, you are capable of more than you know. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Was this helpful? 
And if you have further questions about this topic or other book-related, product-related, or mindset-related topics, please let me know in a comment below and I will answer your questions in a future video. I want the weekday wisdom to be something that you value and look forward to watching.